Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my tutorials. Pretty basic tutorial today. Um, we are going to be creating a, a Windows Forms application which goes off to the internet, does a query on a web service and retrieves the weather data uh, for a particular city located in a specified country. Okay, So you'll see on the screen, you'll see the web service host location and the name of the web service that we are going to be calling and below that you will see that we actually have two methods we will be calling on that web service get cities by country and get weather for get cities we pass in a country name and it will then return a list of cities for that particular country then with that list of cities we can select a city and it will then go away pass that city name into this get weather function which will then return the weather for that particular city. Okay, so here you will see the application that we are going to create. It's a fairly basic test harness, really, just to test the uh, web services out. You'll see we have two dialog boxes, one which will list the countries, one which will list the cities based on the selection of the country, and then it'll down here we have a rich text box which will give us the weather for the particular city that we select in the cities drop down okay so we will select for example a country here um, we'll select what should we select uh, Mali um, and then we drop down the cities and here we have some cities within inside of Mali and we can select one of these and it lists us the weather within Mopti in Mali okay pretty straightforward pretty simple we're going to be uh, going through the process of creating this example. I'm not going to be doing very much typing. More to the point, I'm going to be demonstrating to you the code um, and the process uh, and the methods that I went through in order to create this application. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to create our project. So we're going to create a new project. We're going to call it Weather. Uh, service that's going to give us a blank form on this blank form we are going to start constructing our controls so the first thing we want to do is put a couple of control boxes on here to organize our dialogues and our rich text panel okay so we have group box and we have another group box Okay, we can always resize these accordingly later. First thing we want to do is get rid of the group box title. So we go over to our solutions uh, panel over here to the properties panel and we look for text and then we just remove the group box text and that will remove that title. Do the same thing again here, that removes that title. Go to the form and we want to give the form the name weather service okay now we want to put some controls inside of our containers so we'll cl close the containers uh, drop down here we'll go to the common controls and we will select a combo box we'll drag combo box over here drag it out which is a reasonable size and then we'll get another combo box do the same thing again drag it out get a label drag a label just to the left of the combo do another label just to the left of the combo okay and then we'll line these the best we can select the first label again go over to your properties look for text it says label one change this to countries okay and then go to the second label change the text for the second label in your properties panel to cities Okay, let's bring the dialog boxes over a little bit, just so it looks a little bit prettier. Go to the top dialog, which is corresponding to the countries. Go over to your properties panel again. You'll notice it's called combo box one. That's the name, not the text. So slide your properties panel down and you are looking for name. Okay, and these things are never very easy to find. Where are we, text? Uh, OK, 
oh, I'm going blind. Items, here we go. Couldn't see it for looking. Right, combo box, and we are going to call this one countries. Select the next combo box, and this one is obviously cities. So go again to your properties panel, to the design section, name, and call this cities. That means it's going to uh, be easier for us to find that in code later on in our IntelliSense. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is obviously add an area to put the weather details. That's going to be a rich uh, text box. So over here again in the common controls, look for rich text box and slide that over and drop that into your group box again. Drag it out so it fills up the group box. Okay. Position it as you see fit. Go back to the properties again, back to the design section inside the properties panel, name, and we'll call this one rich text weather details okay that is the uh, form constructed next step is to add the code behind each of these controls to interrogate our web service and bring back our weather data um, but we will leave that I think until part two uh, in order to keep these videos to a reasonable length and uh, make them a little bit more uh, suitable for you guys to follow through with or follow along with. Okay, so uh, yeah, until part two, take it easy guys, be safe out there, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.